Welcome back to the Sandus Kitchen. I'm Pam and tonight we're going to do a great recipe and it's just something that we love. It's making homemade pizza. One good thing about this recipe, well there's two good things. One thing it tastes delicious. The second thing is it's low in carbs. You know there's so many people out there that are watching their diet and everything but they love pizza but they avoid it because of the carbs. Well tonight we're going to show you how to make a delicious pizza that we eat all the time, we love it, and you can eat it and you don't feel guilty after you ate it. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that way you know when we're coming out with another delicious recipe. So let's get started with all the ingredients. We have a little plate made up with toppings. We have some mushrooms, I did, these are canned mushrooms, I like those. If you use fresh mushrooms, sometimes they get a little dry, but I love mushrooms. This is some Italian sausage. We make our own, so it's very flavorful. We have some pepperoni. Love pepperoni. We have some onion and some bell pepper. Mike really likes those on his. And I have some sliced black olives. So when you make a plate like this and people are making their pizza, they can put on it what they like. They can pick and choose. Then we have an Italian cheese blend. We have some pizza sauce. And I have some Italian seasoning. Now, this is the special trick for our crust. We're not using a regular crust. We're not doing a cauliflower crust because I've tasted them, I really don't like it. This is delicious. We are using low carb tortillas, okay? Now this is the brand that I use. I know there's a bunch out there, but on the back it says for each tortilla there's 19 grams of, carb of carbs, but 15 fiber. So when you subtract that, you come out, each one is only four grams of carbs. Now, each pizza is going to take two. That's what forms your crust. But what's nice about it, these little tortillas, about seven and a half to eight inches, everybody can make their own. So everybody's got their own little personal pizza. So let's get started and get these pizzas ready to go. All right, let's get our pan ready to make these pizzas. I do have my oven preheated or preheating to 400 degrees. So I'm just going to spray my pan lightly with a little nonstick spray. And we are going to do Mike's pizza first, just so I can show you how we do it. You put one tortilla on the pan, and you take a little of your cheese. And what you're going to do is put a layer of cheese, and then you're going to put another tortilla on the top. So each pizza has two tortillas, but that gives you a nice base that you have a nice little crust. One would be too thin. So you just put a little bit like that, and you're going to put another tortilla on the top. And there's your base for your pizza. Now we're going to use a little pizza sauce. Put enough on there so that your ingredients can stick to it. This is going to be very tasty. And then after I put the sauce on, I'm going to put a little, just a little Italian seasoning. This does have a little seasoning in it, but I like the little extra flavor. So we put that on there. All right. That's good for that. And a little Italian seasoning sprinkled on top. Then we're going to go with some pepperonis. Who doesn't like pepperoni? We love our pepperoni. You know what? I think I'm going to put a little cheese on first. Just a little bit. And then we'll put our pepperoni on top. Because we're going to put cheese on the top of the thing when, we, when we're ready. So put some pepperonis on here. We love our Italian sausage. That's gonna give it a great flavor. But I think pepperoni, ever since I was a child, is one of my favorite things. All right, that's good for pepperonis. And put some Italian, I mean Italian sausage. This tastes so good. We make this here and it's got a delicious flavor. We put fennel and anise in it. It's got a delicious Italian flavor. And it's delicious on a pizza. Mike loves bell peppers and onions on his pizza. That's what's good about making a little tray with all these toppings and that way everybody can pick and choose what they like to make their own little pizza. That way you don't have a huge pizza that people are saying, I don't like that. And then we have some onions. He likes onion on his pizza too. I did cut up a little red onion. All right, just a little bit more maybe. And he likes black olives, as do I. And you can put as many as few as you know as many as you want. It's gonna be good. All right, 
Then we're gonna cover it with some more cheese. Now, this pizza is gonna be ready to go into the oven. So what I'm gonna do is put this on the side. I'm gonna put mine together and we're gonna put them in the oven at the same time. So this is what his looks like. Looks great. And I'll be back in a minute after I assemble mine. Well, I have my two little pizzas ready to go. I've got Mike's, I've got mine. We have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. Depending on how your oven is, everybody's is different from eight to 10 minutes. So we're gonna check it at eight minutes just to make sure that our pizzas are done. That's how we like it. So I'll see you in eight minutes. Oh, look at this. Our little pizzas are ready. Now, I did say eight to 10 minutes, depending on how your oven is heated. I actually let mine go for 10 to 11 minutes. This looks great. We're gonna get them plated up and we'll be right back. I can't wait to eat. can't wait to eat this. It tastes, it smells so awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. So Mike's got his, I've got mine. Well, mine is ready and I can't wait. So I do like a little red pepper flakes on mine. I'm ready. Ooh, it's hot, but I'm gonna try it. Well, the pizzas came out absolutely delicious. Can't wait to eat them. We're hungry, but like I said, it's low carb. You try it. If you do anything different, let us know in the comments. Any changes that you made, you know, anything. Everybody can always improve, right? So anyway, this is a great recipe. As we said before, individual pizzas for your family put whatever you want on them, but the low carb thing is where it's at. And these are delicious, you're gonna love them. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as we always say, have a great week and God bless you.